everybody. I'm Abby Morin. And I'm Joshua Spears. And we're from the band Hand Me Down. We're here at Green River Festival, and we're at uh, the back bar recording. What was the first venue you played? Oh, I love this. All right. The first venue I played, I wouldn't call it a venue. I was 15. It was uh, Awakenings Cafe. I wore a side pony. I got a free smoothie, and that was my payment for the day. <laughs> Mine was the Black Box Performing, perform, performing Arts Center in Middletown, Delaware, and I opened for a band called the one Arm Bandits. The question is, what is your go-to karaoke song? Oh. <laughs> well, I have two. First is, um, If It Makes You Happy by Sheryl Crow. Second is One of Us by Joan Osborne. And mine has always been a duet, which people don't always do. Um, and it's uh, Summer Lovin' from Greece. <laughs> Shouts to Mag. Okay. Yeah, and the other one that would have to be um, it would be With You by uh, Jessica Simpson, oh, yeah. which is such, nice. that it's is one of, on. Abby had a wrist brace that she would wear at for night. her at night. My partner Jenna would always talk about this, that Abby would get into bed and sing, nothing but my wrist brace on, <laughs> <laughs> as she was naked crawling into bed. <laughs> Garfield hates Mondays, what do you hate? Lately I really hate uh, my day job, and I feel like I can say that because I've already put my notice in. I hate people who drive fast in parking lots. It drives me nuts drives because you. it's it's like one of the easiest things to just go slowly, just just take it easy. And people drive; they love doing it. Yes, yeah, slow it down. What if there's a baby? Oh, what was the first album that inspired you? Obviously, Jagged Little Pill by Alanis Morissette. First album that really inspired me was Paul Simon's Graceland. Classic. What's your favorite swear word? It's definitely the F word, but it's like, I've got to, I've got to combine it with other things. I like to call people an effing clown. I think fart is such a great word. Oh, who would survive longest in the woods? Not me. Definitely me. What was the weirdest gig you played? Oh. I played a show in outside of Washington, D.C. Uh, it was a laundromat, and we were sitting outside in the parking lot drinking beers. And the guy, the promoter of the show came out and screamed at us because we were in the parking lot. And he said, this is not a hanging out spot. This is a funeral home parking lot. One time I agreed to play at this restaurant because the price was right. <laughs> they set me up like in the corner of the service station and I like couldn't move my arms at all. Like I was so sucked in. And like every five seconds they're like, could you just turn it down a little more? <laughs> just a little more. Just a I little more. So everything was completely off. Having so much fun with this. Oh my God, this is the best. Who would be the first to fall asleep during a movie? Mine was Madagascar 2, and I fell asleep watching it last night. The night before, I fell asleep to Moana, which is another great movie. <laughs> Pixar, Pixar before bed, are you guys kidding me? What was the first concert you saw? Uh, Ooh, great question. Easy. Um, Mandy Moore. Um, I was so excited. I learned all the songs. Well, Howie Day opened, and he play he ended up playing for like two hours and everyone's like ah, get off the stage we want mandy like mandy came on and played three songs i'm not kidding three songs and left the stage we're in rural new hampshire it erupts into a riot <laughs> <laughs> everyone's so mad they're like mandy we wanted more they had to refund everybody half their money back first show i saw i just sent you a picture of this last night it was like a church basement show in Newark, Delaware. It was that band, to bring it all back around, the one Arm Bandits, that I ended up playing with. It was a big night. My first like big show was James Taylor at Tanglewood. You should have seen the collared shirt exactly. I was wearing. I looked so good. What's your favorite car song? Oh, uh, we had a moment. Oh, man. Do you remember? Wait, what? it was It was If It Makes You Happy, wasn't yeah, it? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the same as karaoke. Yeah, exactly. What's the last book you read? I just finished Moby Dick, and I'm very proud of that, and I would like a pat on the back for that. That's it took me a nice. long time. Spoiler alert, they don't get the whale. I just reread my favorite book, The World According to Garp. It's a I'm brilliant. Open. Come on, what? Who would misspell the word inconvenience? I have a misspelled tattoo. No, wait, what? Where? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the last movie you saw in theaters? Get out. That was the last one. Who would be the first to ask for a bathroom break on a road trip? It might be me, but it would only be 
so I could get some snacks. <laughs> I peed my pants on stage one time. You can like hold your, you can hold your pee until you pee your pants on stage, and then, and then you, then you suddenly get self-conscious about. It. Also, don't wear gray, gray jeans when you play on stage because that shows a pee stain. Once robot helpers become available. Who would be the first to buy one? Great question. Well, I don't have any money, so <laughs> who would it be me? What would be if you had a robot helper to help you with some task throughout your day? What would it be? I think it. I think I would um, hire a robot to smile at people for me. I'd prefer not to brush my teeth. Really? If you ever need help, I would brush your teeth for you. It's Abby's fun. my. I found my robot helper. That's it. That's all of it. We finished. Good that all. was really fun. Thank you so much, Backbar Recordings. Yeah.